Hey y'all, Kobe here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be really fun. I'm going to show you guys how I go from this to this. It's been quite a minute since I've showed you guys the full transformation from literally no definition whatsoever, a complete frizzy frizzball afro two nice defined curls and so i'm super excited to show you guys that whole journey and bring you guys through the entire process i hope you guys enjoy this video let's get started all right so here's the current situation with my hair it's looking like a fro my hair is more so 4a i used to be like 4a 3c i don't really know y'all know i kind of felt weird about hair types but what i realized was i think the way that most people in the natural hair like interpret hair types is like okay if i look at somebody who has type this hair like that's somebody who is their hair might be similar to mine so i could try to use similar products that will help me not my hair looks my hair looks like this or it looks like this or it looks like this you know because it looks different when you style it depending on what style you did right like right now my hair looks like 4a 4b but after I style it, it might be looking like 3C, 3B. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was kind of like, uh, this hair type thing, uh, I'm not really a big fan of it. But now I kind of understand like how people interpret it. They don't interpret it based off of that chart. They're more so interpreted based off of reference to somebody else's hair. So I'm going to take it from this to styling it. So my hair has already been washed and deep conditioned and I just let it dry just like this. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to wet my hair and then I am going to go in with the leave-in to get that first base of moisture onto my hair before we start doing the style. All right, so I just wet my hair. So I just ran it under the faucet in the sink. So now what I'm gonna do is work the leave-in in. So today I am using the uh, Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment. It has a very complicated name, it's just the leave-in. So I used to didn't like this leave-in, but I don't know, now when I use it, like it's pretty good. I just don't like that it's in this spray bottle because I have to use a lot. So I have to sit here and like spray it in my hand and then rub it in my hair. So I'll leave all the products that I'm using linked down below so that you guys can check them out and grab them yourself. Also, I wanted to mention that I'm focusing a lot on my ends. A lot of you guys were trying to grow your hair longer. I wanted to comment to remind you guys that taking care of your ends is essential for hair growth. Taking care of your scalp, making sure that it's cleaned regularly, making sure that, you know, it's nice and moisturized, you know, by like using oils and doing scalp massages and things like that. It's really gonna help to get healthy hair to grow out of your scalp. But then you also have to take care of the hair you have. And the hair at the ends of your hair is the hair that's been with you for the longest. It's the oldest and it's the weakest. So you have to take extra good care. So when you're moisturizing your hair, special attention to your ends, you know, because the goal is to grow your hair and then to keep the hair that you have on your head. And if you're not taking care of the ends and it, they just keep breaking off, you're not going to keep any. And that's why some of you guys are experiencing this, this situation where you feel like your hair is not growing at all. Like it's just staying one length, you know, when really it is growing, but it's also breaking off at the same time. And so because of that, your your growth is being stunted, you know? And I also talked about how detangling can also stunt your hair growth if you're doing it improperly. If you guys didn't see my detangling video, make sure you go and check that video out. It has some really great tips on how to detangle your hair. And I also mentioned some things that you might be doing that might be the reason why your hair isn't growing because detangling improperly can really stunt hair growth. Okay, so now that the first layer of moisture is down, my hair is nice and moisturize all around. I am going to start with the styling. Y'all know I love my Argan Oil Eco Style Gel. So look what I got. Who you know? Who you know? And guess what? I got two of these. I'm just trying to say, all I gotta say is who you know? Who you know got two of these? Besides me. This thing is like literally bigger than my head. Look at all of that. Who you know? Tell me, please. Now I'm taking the Argan Eco Style Gel and I'm just going to grab some gel and I'm just gonna apply it straight to my hair. And just work that in. I kinda wanna try to do my hair just by like working the product through like this and then diffusing it and seeing if I can get the curls that I normally get a good look, see what that looks like. Cause I always do the coils. I kinda wanna just try this and see how it turns out. Cause just, just styling it like this, like just working the gel in, letting my curls fall how they naturally fall, 
without doing the coils or anything and just leaving it is so much faster but it doesn't give me the look that i want and my hair is a little long so it always hangs in my face and stuff like that but i wonder if i diffuse it will it give me the results that i want so let's try it we ain't got nothing to lose y'all i really want to make a song the issue is I can't write. Nothing that I ever write is cool. Everything I write is corny, but I really want a song. Like I love to sing, I love to dance, I love to perform. Like I can see myself on stage in front of a sold out crowd with a whole dance routine and song and singing and dancing and everything. But the issue is I can't write, not good at it. And I know it takes practice and it takes time. You know, the best writers have been writing for a long time and all that good stuff. But I just don't think my gifts are there. <laughs> You know, I'm so talented when it comes to performing, it's ridiculous. But writing, I literally suck. So maybe I'll find a writer when I can write me a song and I'll drop my own song. I'll drop some music, I'll be lit. Then I definitely will have to perform it. That's the whole reason I want a song, to perform, you know? I want a song just to have a song. I want to perform. I want it to be mine, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I could perform other people's songs, but how cool is it to have your own song? Like I always think about that where like artists and stuff, especially artists who don't perform and they just make music because they love making music, you know? So I'm like, yo, I could never. If I was an artist, the, the reason I would want to be an artist is to perform, you know? But that's just me. That's where a lot of my passion lies, you know? It's not the same for everybody, but for me, you're gonna catch me on stage. If I got if I got music, you're going to catch me on somebody's stage. I I do it for free, you know. You know they say if how you know if you love something is if you will do it for free. Yeah, that I mean I've been doing it for free. I'm a backup dancer for this um, local artist, and you know we do many shows just for free, just because I just love it so much. Just being on stage and entertaining, I love it. I love it. I, I love that stuff so much. Been doing it for a long time when I was a kid and um, wouldn't mind getting back into it, you know. When I moved to LA, that's one of, gonna be one of the main things I'm gonna be most excited about is that I can dance. There's so many dance studios that are good there and I can just go to dance studios and dance. Cause that's what I really wanna do. And I'm gonna bring my East Coast flair to LA, you know. I'm bringing my East Coast style, my East Coast heat to LA period. I will always be an East Coast dancer at heart. All right, so I'm gonna go dip this section in water and I'll be right back. But so far, the curls are looking pretty good as I expected. Eco Styler Gel never lets me down. Curls are nice to find. And when I go dip it in water, it's gonna be even more than And see, this is what happens right after the water. Super defined. Like it goes from defined to super defined. All right, so we're gonna continue with this. The results for the curls are as expected, looking promising. Okay, also, I wanted to talk about this because I was like, wow, this is really interesting. So have anybody, any of y'all ever like taken a picture and you just feel like, I looked so good until I took this picture. Like I look really good right now and as soon as I snap the picture, the picture's ugly. Like, yo, I just found out the other day, the reason why it's like that is because the picture is not showing an accurate depiction of what you look like in real life. And when you think about it, like this was the explanation behind it. Shout out to my girl, Moral. She explained this so perfectly. Pretty much when you take a picture, it's literally snapping 0 0.0001 second of time out of life but when you look at somebody in real life or on the video or looking at your phone before you snap the picture your face is a living moving thing you know like you're blinking like every time you breathe your nose is flexing just a little bit like your mouth might be moving a little bit your cheek might be moving a little bit your eyeballs might move a little bit and then when you take a picture it's snapping a, a quick millisecond moment. It, it doesn't depict what you look like in real life if somebody's looking at you. So a picture doesn't really show what you look like, really. Because when you look at somebody in real life, you're seeing a moving face, you know? But you don't get that on, on, a, on a picture. I was like, wow, that's so interesting. My hair is all styled. I'm gonna go dip the front half in the water and then I will be right back. Okay, so this is my hair after the water. I'm gonna get close so you can see. Super defined. The last thing that I'm gonna do that I haven't done in a while, literally, cause I've just been slacking and been lazy, and I kind of forgot about it, is to add some oil to the end of this. So I'm gonna be using the Lux Lux, Lux Hair Growth Oil on my ends. Whenever I used to do this, it used to add so much shine to my hair. It helps to lock in that moisture so your hair stays moisturized 
last for a lot longer. And guys, my hair used to just look so shiny and beautiful. And lately my hair has been looking a little dry and dull. It has a dry look to it. And that's truly probably because I haven't been doing the oil, you know, on the ends of my hair. So I'm just gonna take some oil, put it in my hand. Then I'm just gonna take it. My hands are like oiled up. I'm just gonna take my hair and I'm just literally going to do this. Not even gonna be doing any anything crazy. Just like tapping it on the ends of my hair. I'm not even scrunching. I'm literally just like patting it on. So that's a step that I have been needing to do but haven't been doing lately. This is gonna add a lot of that shine um, to my hair that I've honestly been missing. But yeah, so guys, from a fro to this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to diffuse my hair and hope and pray that my hair will be a fro by the time it dries and I will come back to show you guys the results. Okay, y'all, so these are the finished results from my hair. Now, as you can see, and as I mentioned earlier, uh, my hair hangs in my face when I do this, and that's why I typically tend to do finger coils all the time. But honestly, I really do like the look that like my curls get when I don't do the finger coils, when I just rake them through. I just hate that they're so long, so I kind of want to do like a little trimming, like cut my hair just so that it's not in my face when I do my hair like this. So that one, I can do my hair like this more often, and two, it cuts down so much time for doing my hair because I don't have to go by and coil every single little piece, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But it was looking a little bit weird and a little bit stringy at first. But the, as the day went on and the cast broke off of my hair, so my hair is not really crunchy anymore. Um, my hair kind of got a little bit more fluffy and started to take shape a little bit more. And here's where we're at now. So I, I, I definitely like to fluff it around and like, you know, make it make it a fro as much as as much as I can but my hair is feeling nice and moisturized it's feeling good so what I'm doing is I'm just like tucking the hair that's in my face like under the hair and it's annoying because it always falls down and that's why I kind of want to like cut it but at the same time like I kind of don't could definitely use some more shape on the sides the sides are kind of they're longer so they're kind of a little flat and I wish they were just like up you know like a fro like uh, but yeah, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are looking forward to more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click the bell so that you get a notification every time I upload a new video. I will leave all the products that I use in this video linked down below so that you can check them out. And also, I've created a discount code for you guys over at Ardent Candle. So if you like candles, then you can head over to ardentcandle.com and use the code COBE10 to get 10% off of your entire order. If you would like to follow my journey and see more of the behind the scenes stuff, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter at Kobe Lomax. Once again, thank you so much for tuning into my videos. I am so grateful for every single one of you who watches my videos and watches them all the way to this point, you know, watches them all the way to the end. I am so thankful and so grateful for you being here and I'll see you in my next video.